video, we're going to discuss vulnerabilities of different elements exposed to specific hazards. Basically, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to realize that recognizing the vulnerabilities will help your community design to formulate strategies, programs on prevention, mitigation, and immediate response in case disasters may happen. Well, recall muna natin ang vulnerability. In everyday life, you are using this word, vulnerable. But, do you really understand the meaning of this? Vulnerability is a degree of susceptibility and resilience of community and environment to hazard. This is the inability to withstand the effects of a hazard. Kumbaga, mataas ang chance mo na maapektuhan ka sa isang bagay. You're prone. So for example, senior citizens are vulnerable to COVID-19. So what it means? Ibig sabihin ay mas prone ba ang mga senior citizens? Why are they prone? Because of their characteristics. So the factor of vulnerability is the word susceptibility and resilience. When we say susceptible, it means easily influenced or harmed by something. Mabilis ka bang apektuhan? Madali ka bang kapita ng sakit? So that is susceptible. Second is the word resilience. Resilience, it is your capacity to recover quickly from the difficulties. How quickly can we recover? What is our capacity of recovering? Then that is our resilience. Now, let's identify the vulnerabilities of different elements that are determined due to its exposure to particular and specific hazard. Number one is physical vulnerability. When something is physical, it's really there. You can see it, touch it, taste it, hear it, or even smell it. For physical vulnerability, it includes population density levels, place of settlement, the site design, materials used for infrastructure and housing. Ano ba yung tinatawag na population density? Let's say, sa isang 100 square meter na lupa, so meron tayong family A na merong uh, 10 members of the family. While sa family B, meron naman silang 20 members. So dito, masasabi natin na Family B is more dense than family A. So given tayo ng isang area wherein nagkakaiba sila sa number of population. So that is uh, population density. One of the example of physical vulnerabilities is when UP Visayas buildings were totally destroyed during the Super Typhoon Yolanda, that was in 2008, leaving the structure totally damaged. Another example is the decrease in population density like what happened in Baguio during the 1990 earthquake in North Luzon when a lot of people were injured and died. Second is social vulnerability, which refers to the potential negative effects on communities. It happens due to inability of people, organization, and societies to prevent severe effects from hazards because of the expected behavior in social interactions, uh, institutions, and system of cultural values. So for example, during Typhoon, the line of communications were cut off when cell sites shut down or disruption of transport system due to inability of small vehicles to pass through the flooded areas or unpassable roads and bridges. With some difficulties in the delivery of services such as relief goods and medicines, a lot of problems occur like shortage of food and spread of infectious diseases. Therefore, 
when social elements were exposed to hazard, this may lead to disruption of normal processes and activities in the community. And I want to tell you that the level of economic vulnerability is based on the economic status of individuals, communities, and nations. The poorer the country, the more vulnerable to disasters. The most affected are those who belong to low income and informal workers. The environmental vulnerability that is caused by natural resources depletion and destruction. So yung mga human activities like deforestation, burning of fossil fuels, and yung pagkakainin. It affects the natural abilities of the environment na maprotektahan ang sarili nila kapag may natural hazard na mangyayari. Vulnerability can be expressed as zero which is the lowest degree of vulnerability, and one if it is the highest. Vulnerability of people is the ratio of casualties or injured to the total population, wherein the vulnerability of buildings is expressed as a repair cost or degree of damage.